Welcome to Art on the Brain. I'm Kelly Drake, and I wanted to show you this Daniel Smith watercolor ground in iridescent gold and try it with some watercolors and see what it looks like. Um, as you know, watercolor ground can turn almost any surface into a watercolor paintable surface. You can paint it on hardboard or canvas, even they say plastic and glass, although I haven't tried that, and paint it with watercolor. So let's take a look. Now, although you can use this watercolor ground on a lot of different su surfaces, including wood, I'm just going to try it in my art journal to give you an idea of what it looks like. So here's the Daniel Smith iridescent gold watercolor ground, and I'm using it with just a paintbrush that I got from Home Depot. Um, I don't like to use, especially not use my watercolor brushes with this stuff. It's really thick and kind of grainy and I don't want it drying on my watercolor brushes so definitely use a stiffer um, more of a utilitarian brush and wash it out really well when you're done. Um, this is a little different from the black watercolor ground in that it looks to me like you're gonna have to use two coats. The first coat is a little bit more transparent or quite a bit more transparent than the black or the white. So um, I like to have a little texture in there, so I'm using a brush. If you don't like that texture and you want it to be smooth, you need to use a foam roller, which is used to paint wood, like wood doors and woodwork at, at your home. This is another thing you can get at Home Depot. I like to protect my other pages of my art journal, so I put some wax paper underneath before I paint which is something I did before I painted the gold on there too. I'm just going to start lay laying these transparent watercolors on top of the watercolor ground. And I have to tell you, I'm really surprised in, at how um, lovely these colors look when you put them on the golden watercolor ground. Um, they really pop and the colors are very vivid and beautiful. Um, just gonna wait till the end here and I'll tell you which colors each of these are um, but I'm just very pleased with how they're going on and I just want to let you know that in this video I let this gold watercolor ground uh, cure longer than in former videos so um, this is more than 72 hours it says to let it cure for 24 to 72 hours and what I did here was let it cure for 24 hours put on a second coat and let that cure for you know, at least three days because I had other things I was doing and I have to say that the absorbency is much improved by doing that so you do want to let it cure for a decent enough amount of time so I want to tell you which colors I used here in case you want to try this yourself and you and you like a certain color from left to right top to bottom is quinacridone gold quinacridone burnt orange burnt sienna burnt umber, quinacridone coral, anthacrinoid red, naphthamide maroon, quinacridone violet, and then the bottom row is moon glow, cobalt violet, ultramarine, indanthrone blue, cerulean blue, phthalo green, undersea green, and olive green. And these are all Daniel Smith colors. So I was curious how the luminescent watercolors might look on this as well, in addition to the regular watercolors. So I'm going to try some of my luminescent Daniel Smith paints. Um, these are interference paints, and this is a metallic gold color that I'm starting out with. Now I keep them separate from my regular palette because I don't want that luminescence to get into all my other paints. So um, lately I've just been using these little cups and lids, um, but might want to try to, might probably just get a separate palette for these eventually. Um, that was the gold over the quinacridone gold. And now I'm going to try the interference red. And 
I like to use a little bit out of the tube because with this paint, um, to me it just, there's more luminescence and more color if you get it out of the tube rather than letting it dry and use it um, like I would my other Daniel Smith watercolors. Although that still works, but, um, and it does activate with some water, just not quite as well as the other paints I'm finding. So I like to take a little bit out of the tube. Now this is all interference red. And I'm just going to go over a few colors to see what it looks like. And interference paints, if you haven't seen my other um, videos on Daniel Smith interference paint, um, I'll put a link above here. Um, but you can see how they react over different colors and over white and um, also over the uh, black watercolor ground did a video on that ways back so I'll put a link to that too. Now I'm uh, trying the lilac which is one of my favorite of uh, Daniel Smith luminescent colors. I just like the way that uh, color looks when it goes over other colors and uh, black as well and here it's really looking nice as I go over um, especially the reds and the violets. This is Interference Blue, which is also a really nice color. Now these Interference paints are kind of interesting because when they first go on they're a little bit milky. Unlike the other luminescent colors that I've tried like the Duochrome and the Iridescent colors. Um, if you'd like to see a video on that I'll put another link above. Um, but this interference paint goes on a little bit milky, but then when it dries, that all goes away. So what you're seeing there above, the um, kind of milky quality while it's wet, when it dries, it just looks um, really nice, almost jewel tones and luminescent beside. Here's the interference green, also a really nice color. I use that over the greens just to give you a feeling for what that looks like. And um, doing this, I'm just getting um, really inspired to do a painting on this gold ground. And uh, I think with all the tulips that are blooming out front in my yard right now, I might have to do a floral. So um, thinking I'll probably do a video on that here sometime soon in the future. So uh, if you feel like seeing that, if you're interested in these different products and Daniel Smith paints and watercolor in particular, um, just remember to subscribe. So now that I've painted the luminescent color over the other colors, I'm getting curious as to what they look like just over the gold. So here's the interference blue and the interference green just to see. And you could still see a little bit of the color uh, over the gold. This is the iridescent gold. And you can see how different it looks next to the gold that's over the quinacridone gold and how it looks over just the regular uh, gold watercolor ground. Very different. Not nearly as rich. That next one is Interference Silver, which I had not used yet. This is the Interference Red. And now Interference Lilac. And not really and that's lilac again. Uh, not all that impressed with the interference colors by themselves over the iridescent gold watercolor ground. They look much better over other colors, or you can also mix them with other colors. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of the Daniel Smith iridescent gold watercolor ground, and I hope you give it a try. And now don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And stop by and check out my web page, my Facebook page, or take a look at my Instagram account if you'd like to learn more about me, my art, and my children's book illustrations.